Hey folks, Aaron here. Welcome back to No Anime Review. Today we're looking at episode 5 of Fate Last Encore. Now, I will say that this week's episode made up for what I felt like last week wasn't that great of an episode. And you know, it wasn't a feeling that I was by myself with. Some people kind of had some mixed feelings with last week's episode. And you know, it wasn't that great in my mind. So I mean, I know some people also equally liked it a lot. But I just didn't really care for last week's episode. This week's episode, initially... I was going to start complaining because at the very beginning, I thought, oh man, are we in, in a fight already? This dude lost? So wait, what happened to all this other stuff? But they did something very clever. I, I give I give Shaft some credit with this. Where they had it where that was his backstory of why he's still around. Because he apparently had lost our, our main character, our main enemy of this, of this, of this arc, uh, Dan. He had lost uh, in the previous Holy Grail War quite early on, despite having so much skill. And lo and behold, was supposed to be erased from the game. However, a thousand years, he's still here. And he's on the second level now. And he's unable to move on, even though he's defeated a slew of masters that have come up trying to get to the third floor. It, it's a very th weird system. because You could tell that this, this system, this world we're in, the, the mood cell, it, it's something that is broken for the most part. And we'll get further into that because it does follow the same kind of concept as the, um, the game too in that sense, where mood cell is kind of all over the place and you, you start seeing that in the game as these weird glitches and, and graphical inequalities and stuff like that and you start seeing certain things happen with characters that shouldn't have happened in the first place so thus they're, they're bringing that part that element into the anime which is cool uh, I will say though this week's battle made up for last week's because I loved how you know Saber dealt with you know what we found as Robin Hood and what was cool about that was you know he wasn't he wasn't that strong like as a as a servant i'm not gonna say he's the best around i think we've seen a lot better in terms of servants but at the same time he had an interesting power where he can poison arrows into you or she poison arrows into you she must have just like put them in like just yeah he just magically wills them into you um i'm sorry about that folks uh but he she shoots poison arrows at you and then what he does is when you're already starting to get feel the effects of poison he comes out out of his hiding and uses an explosive shot which once it touches your body in any form you explode and I'll say it was pretty gruesome when uh, the the one duo that they showed having kind of suffered that skill, that was messed up. You know, that guy legit exploded. And I was like, whoa, sh damn, you know, this 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 fate is not for the faint of heart. This is, well, that, that sounds really corny, but it's staying in there. But no, seriously, though, it, it's very mature. And I, I love that Shaft is doing that with this because I think that already we're starting to see some cool stuff. And, and Hakuto is starting to kind of rise up in my ranks where he reminds me of Mob with his power. Like, he gets that whole otherworldly power and is really fast and stuff like that doesn't it kind of look like mob psych you know mob psycho 100 it has that same design to it it feels like where you know you see his face you see his eyes glowing i'm not saying the power like in terms of what he can do i'm just saying the way he looks just reminds me of that for some reason i don't know why that is and there's another show that it reminds me of too but i just can't think of the thoughts on my head but you know uh hakuto and saber were the victors they were able to defeat dan and robin hood uh using I want to say minimalistic things. I mean, you know, really, you know, I, th I think with uh, Dan, I think his skills had been so good, but at the same time, he thought they were infallible. And he was just overwhelmed by, by Hakuto because Hakuto, we're already starting to see Hakuto's not an idiot. He's, he's, you know, very quiet. He's also, I want to say an edgelord right now, but equally, he's not an idiot. He's pretty smart when it comes to a lot of things. He, he listens to what, like, for example, what Ronnie was telling him about you know Dan and Robin Hood's powers and stuff like that he was listening intently you could tell that and you know he, he even when Saber was like hey you know they were putting the chess pieces in they had Hakuto as the pawn you know Hakuto didn't complain about that all he was doing he was just looking forward just looking intently and paying attention to it so it's like you know I, I give him credit for that it's pretty cool but what do you guys think is going to happen next? We had, at the very end, if you guys stayed after the credits, we had uh, uh, Rin Tosca reappear uh, before Saber and uh, Hakuto. And I'm like, yeah, there you go, Rin appear. Same thing with the game. She appears at certain intervals in the story. I mean, like, for example, folks, this is not going off the same concept as the game, mind you, where, you know, in the game, the stratums were basically just these very minimalistic settings they weren't really like all beautiful the way they're doing right now obviously uh but ren would appear at certain points and kind of give guidance and etc uh and here's the thing of the day here's what i'm very curious about are they gonna keep ren's purpose the same because i know what her purpose is in, in fate extra but what is your purpose be here 
curious. Anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Uh, have a great blessed day, everyone. Like I said, I'm apologizing for getting this review out so late. I've been swarmed with stuff lately, lately and it's just like, you know, I, I wanted to get it out yesterday when it came out, but unfortunately, I was only able to do Coca-Cola, and I also did not like the translation uh, for last week's, uh, for excuse, Sunday's episode, so I waited until today um, to, to do it. I'll talk to you guys later, though. God bless you all, seriously. Have a great and wonderful day, everyone. Bye-bye.